Good morning, crafty friends. It's Diane with Bean Street Paper, and it's time for another 10 Minute Tuesday. Today, we are going to make this super simple card that focuses on using some of your favorite pattern paper. Uh, there are some super pretty pattern papers out there, and I love the simple design of this because it lets the paper pretty much showcase itself. Um, you can make this card with any sentiment. You can do a Christmas one, you can do happy birthday. There's so many different uh, reasons you could do this. This would be another example of a paper I would use for something like this because it would let the pretty flowered paper um, show, basically do all the work. I would probably emboss this one in gold. Uh, I did use a little bit of heat embossing here. You don't have to, you can just stamp it on there with uh, colored ink um, instead of heat embossing, but I like the look that the heat embossing gives it a little bit more pizzazz. Um, and you can also add rhinestones. I didn't to this one. I just thought I would keep it kind of simple and easy. So without further ado, you will need a card base. Again, I always do A2, which would be, uh, so your paper would be cut at five and a half on the 11 inch side. So you would have a uh, four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. Then I took my pattern paper and I cut that at three and five eighths and then my uh, three and five eighths by four and seven eighths and to think about that for a minute and then my mat is going to be three and three quarters by five and you'll just need a strip of vellum that you stamped your um, sentiment on. You can heat emboss it. You don't have to heat emboss it. It doesn't really matter. But this is a super quick card that comes together quickly. Uh, what you're going to do is take your pattern piece of paper. I just love this design. I love the flowers, the brush strokes. I think I really don't want to hide it by putting a bunch of stuff over the top of it. So when you use this vellum piece, and you can put it anywhere. You can put it at the top. You could put it you know, at the bottom, in the middle. If you use the vellum, it kind of lets it show through. So what I did was I just um, kind of centered it. I like mine more towards the bottom. And then I turned it over and did a little, not a super tight fold, just, just a fold for now. Um, because what I want to do is come back with my ATG gun and add some ATG for that to stick to. Okay. Then I'm going to take my, my paper. Again, I like it towards the bottom and my bone folder. And I'm going to fold one end and burnish it. That way it's tight. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my other end and turn it over and make sure it's, you know, even. Okay, and then I'm gonna burnish that also. And then really, for the most part, the rest is just adhering layers together. Um, I didn't want to heat emboss on on camera because you know that can be kind of annoying so I already did that part I'm just gonna layer this guy on its uh, cardstock mat okay then I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back oh I'm about to run out of ATG that's never good Okay, and then that's gonna go on my card base. Uh, I did 
as you can see, I did leave a little bit more of a white border on this one. Um, instead of just an eighth of an inch, I thought that was classier. And there you go. You have it all done. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you like this quick and easy card, please give me a thumbs up. Um, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I will leave the measurements in the comments below and the links to the MeWe and Facebook group. They're both the same, the same prompts every day. So, you know, if you're not on Facebook, you can join on MeWe. If you're not on MeWe, you can join on Facebook. Either way. Um, I look forward to doing some more 10 Minute Tuesday videos for you. I hope you all enjoyed your time with me here today. Having said that, go forth and be crafty. Have a great day, everybody.